Welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Tonight I am trying out a new fragrance called Burgundy Rose and the fragrance description says it is a sensual burgundy rose with fresh white floral nuances blend with exquisite burgundy wine uh, warmed by precious musk and applewood. Um, and at first out of the bottle I was like, oh, I don't know, but I poured it in the container and let it sit and I read the reviews and it said that after um, it sits, it you have more of a rose smell to it along with the apple and the wine comes out in it. So I was trying to find um, a color that I could use that kind of looked like burgundy and I first blended up this one and it has several different colors in it and while I like it I wanted something a little bit different than this it wasn't exactly what I had in mind so I mixed up this and I think this looks just like Merlot or any dark red wine so I'm gonna try some of that um, I don't even I couldn't even tell you what I put in it to mix it together I kind of just kept adding a little of this a little of that and that's the reason I pre-mixed it because I wanted to be able to kind of see first before I added it to the soap so hopefully that'll come out I'm planning on just kind of doing maybe a drop swirl or a hanger swirl and then I'm going to pipe some little tiny rosettes on the top in the burgundy color Um, I'm also going to do a tiny bit of green so that I can pipe little leaves on the top, but I also wanted some in the soap just for just to kind of add to it. Um, so that's going to be the burgundy. Maybe that's too much, let me think. Um, I do want the majority of the soap to be white with a small amount of burgundy so my cat is running all over the house like someone's chasing it I don't know why they do that they're so weird they'll run and I'll think that Jake is chasing my cat Carly because he does that and he can be a bully but he's sitting in the kitchen kind of looking around like I am, like what is she doing? She's upstairs meowing, but she ran up there like she's being chased. Okay, that's my white. This hopefully will be a beautiful burgundy color. We will see. And then this is going to be green. I need to get more of this green. I'm in love with groovy green.
on me, so I didn't have time to clean up or anything like I normally do. But I'm going to go ahead and just pipe little tiny rosettes. I have a Will in 18, so it's just an open star tip. I'm just going to kind of do them randomly. burgundy rose soap and this is what it looks like inside after cutting it into loaves um that definitely brightened up I guess but I think it's really I think it's really pretty it's different the color it's very bright and cheery and the fragrance is really nice it's kind of mellowed out a little bit and you can smell other notes at first I just smelled the fresh rose like the the rosy fragrance and now it, it, it's mellowed out and you, it just smells really pleasant. Um, it smells like it would make a really good air freshener. Um, just It's just a clean, different, it's very different. I don't think I've ever smelled anything quite like it and I really like it a lot. It's floral but it's not like you know, really strong in your face floral. But I'm really liking how the color came out. It looks, it's just different. I don't know. It's brighter than I expected it to be. Um, you can tell, like, it started out a really good consistency and then it thickened up on me really quickly. And... Um, 
I wanted to make sure I got it in the mold so I could beat it down just to make sure there wasn't going to be air bubbles because it was so thick. So I feel like I didn't get to swirl it as much as I wanted to. Um, well, at first I thought maybe I over swirled it. But when it's thick like that, sometimes the swirls aren't as defined. Oh, my stomach just growled. I don't know if y'all heard that. We are... What's today? Today is Tuesday, and the governor called for um, the school closings today for uh, Hurricane Matthew. It is going through, I think, Cuba right now. And if you look at the path, it looks like it's like we're, Myrtle Beach is right in the path. And they said that category two or three by the time it comes up here, but if it doesn't hit land before it gets here, it's going to remain, you know, category four, which is what it is right now. It looks like it's going to kind of go right up the, uh, the Florida coast, not hit land, and kind of go westward. Um, or westward and then kind of turn back east a little bit. And either way, we are going to be getting a lot of wind, a lot of rain. We are only about 10 minutes from the beach, but, um, and everything here is flat, so it floods easily. But my husband has lived here his whole life, and he does not feel the need to evacuate. Um... You know, we went and filled up the tank and everything, just the gas tank. And the gas, I went to get gas earlier, and there was lines at the gas pump. This was about half an hour after the governor issued these, uh, all the school closings for the next few days, like almost all of South Carolina. And starting mandatory evacuations tomorrow of the coastal communities, which we are, um, but... Everyone went to the gas station. There was lines at the gas station. There was pumps with bags on them, meaning they were out of gas already. So everybody is like freaking out about it. And um, all the government offices, schools, and everything are closed. So probably a lot of those people will leave town. But we are not. We are staying here. I think we'll be fine. Unless, I mean, we're watching the storm, of course. Um, the reason they issued the warning for the evacuation was because I think 15 years ago the governor did not issue it quick enough and there was a lot of chaos for people trying to evacuate and were stuck on the roads during the hurricane. So I think they're just kind of hyper alert right now. So we're going to get wet, we're going to get rain, but I think we'll be off, we'll be fine. I just wanted to show you guys the cut of these soaps and I will catch you all on the next video. Thank you for watching.